But this is a, this is a very good one for, uh, for military context. And it, it, So we welcome you to come talk with us after all of this. Thank you. Anything you can see from the screen above, just any kind of software, any kind of lightning traffic. Good morning, everyone. In church and central new systems. Of the Echo Guard and the Echo Shield, the bigger brother. Uh, if you need to know. <laughs> This year in Thai 23, we have increased into the area of operational interoperability. NATO is looking at the interoperability from two main directions. There is a technical interoperability when we have standards and architecture to pass on messages between the system. And there is an operational interoperability when we define tactic technician procedure and standard operating procedures such that the uh, um, military coming from different nations, they speak the same language, so they can communicate with each other. So, about the integration of integrated air missile defense and, and small counter UASs, uh, I think we can take a lot of the existing doctrine and operational experience that we have and use that for uh, this, this, this kind of experimental new uh, 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 venue, which is uh, small counter UASs. So we don't have to start from scratch, but we can take big steps and to see what applies. We're now talking about modern, digital, agile threats, uh, highly maneuverable, small, difficult to track and detect, difficult to, to counter. Uh, but we somehow have rather got to integrate and fold that into the broader airspace challenge that the Alliance has. And again, that's part of the power of this particular endeavor, understanding the technical challenges, understand how we can migrate those into the broader airspace challenge that sits in front of NATO every day. Uh, and as we will continue to extend and expand our knowledge and understanding, and by so doing, will increase our resilience and obviously in time improve our defensive posture against such threats. Uh, clearly uh, there's a terrible uh, endeavour underway there. We're seriously challenged by trying to help as best we can but also try and understand of how we can perhaps transport some of that knowledge and experience of those critical lessons out of the Ukraine operation into potential scenarios that NATO could face in the future. Uh, understanding that threat of how the uh, counter to counter the UAS systems is really pivotal. Uh, understanding that it's a very real mission threat like on a scale we've never seen before and understanding our vulnerabilities.